Hi, I'm Mike, and you're watching Spiritual Combat, and the title of today's show is The Demonic Energy in America is Strong, okay? And um, the uh, the whole one of the reason I uh, came up with this topic, I, me and uh, one of the elders in our, uh, in our Jacksonville, uh, uh, Hebrew Israelite, you know, our Bible study group, um, we were just talking about, he, he, uh, he's a teacher and he's taught overseas in, uh, a lot of countries in Africa and the Middle East, um, for years now. And, um, he was just saying how, yeah, when he came back here, you know, cause I guess he goes back and forth between there. He said, when he came back here to America, he, he just, he he realized that how strong the demonic energy was here in America and just the way he worded that really you know resonated hit me in a spot where yeah I was like you're right you know it is strong here you know me being here I see it um and I I deal with it with my family but just the way the way he worded it I, I you know it really hit a spot with me and breaking down what he meant by that um is he's talking about like the marketing here how they market that the marketing and i'm talking about the commercials the billboards the media you know you name it is witchcraft the marketing is witchcraft they they study psychology they study how your brain works so they can manipulate it that's wizardry and witchcraft and uh you know uh a cult really um this our whole eastern culture is you know this greco-roman european culture is based on witchcraft the holidays all the, uh how they go about with relationships and all that stuff is all witchcraft when you do your research into it and one of the ways you know is because when you really begin to look at this culture here, it, it, it when you kind of follow it all the way through, it's a bad ending to it. Like, like just briefly, how they see relationships. Oh, the man and the woman are equal in the relationship and this, that, and the other. It, and then the, we got the highest divorce rate here, you know, how this culture uplifts the woman as a goddess and clowns the man you know everything's upside down as compared to what's in the bible um the media and this society subtly tell you anything goes anything whatever you want to do is is good you know except following rules following law statutes and commandments in the word you know that's bad you know everything's twisted upside down here um Disney, they always, they're always subtly, look at, look at a lot of Disney shows. They're always telling you that obedience to your parents is, is bad, that your parents are the bad guys. Like my kids were, were uh, they watched some show about like some Hawaiian girl and she goes out and does something, whatever. And, uh, but always in the disney movie the parents are saying hey don't do this and the child goes well no i'm gonna do it and i'm big and tough and i'm gonna go do it and the child goes does it and they're at the end they're successful so they're subtly telling kids oh don't listen to your parents that's not cool don't obey them um i was talking to one of my my friends at work uh and i think it was one of my friends at work and he was telling me how miley cyrus Hannah Montana, I guess that was the show, her father in real life, and it, it's her father in the show also, she said, he said he wished he had a never got into that whole thing with Disney and her acting because they turned her against him and, you know, turned her into a whore, basically. Um, and if you look at the show, if you watch Hannah Montana, she she's the smart one and the father's the dumb, silly one. When you look at the commercials, the the father, 
you know, or the husband is the dumb, silly one and, and, and the uh, woman is the smart, knowledgeable, wise one. And they just turn things upside down. They, they brainwash because you're sitting there watching this stuff, sitting in front of the TV. And after you sit in front of TV for a couple minutes, they say you go into a different brain state where you're suggestive. You let down your conscious, rational judgmental mind you let that down and everything is uh and that's when your face goes your face goes from this to and you get in program you taking this cord right into your head and they just feed you you know and they've studied like you could watch the videos on how they've studied these brain waves and they've studied you know what colors and what frame rates and what words and how much action is required at different amounts to keep you locked in for the longest and how to how long to keep the screen on to flip it and to keep you locked in and and to drop your conscious spiritual you know the uh your spiritual mind to get that to drop away so they could just program your spirit you know god gave you a rational he says be vigilant and they want that vigilant part of your mind to just go to sleep so boom they could plug that cord in and program you we don't watch uh we don't watch too much tv up in here well we don't watch any cable television uh my kids watch um netflix up in here but we're getting ready to cut that out big time and we're getting to do I'm going to have them doing sewing with their mother and just doing more stuff where they're using their head and they're not getting programmed because we've seen the effects of that. And yeah, but that really hit me where he, he said, yeah, the demonic energy is strong here. And he was just saying how he, because his family right now is over there in Africa. And he said he'd really be worried about bringing them over here and them getting bombarded by all that. You know, and like me, and, and it's the man's job that you have to be vigilant about what your wife's getting in her head and what your kids are getting in their head. Because this society is just trying to creep into your house and take control of it. So you got to be you got to be vigilant on this thing and, you know, protect your household, you know, and it's a tough one. You know, everybody's going to fight you on it. You're going to be the bad guy. But you're a man and you're a warrior and you're designed to protect your family. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I hope this video was informative. Uh, check out some of my other videos and have a nice day.